everybody, welcome to a whistle stop tour of this Naughty Cat 33 from 1987 and she's a Mark II. Quick tour around the interior of the boat in virtual reality to give you an idea of where things are, what the boat is like and uh, to say that virtual reality means that you should be able to feel what it's like to be in this boat without actually being here. All you need to do is swipe the screen up, down, left or right, you can look where you like when you like, you don't have to look where I'm looking. Just be a little bit wary that some people are sensitive to the movement of the camera. If that may be you, I'll let you know when the camera's going to be moved. You can avert your eyes and I'll let you know when the camera's back safe and you can come back to me and we can finish this whistle stop tour. So, let's start the whistle stop tour. Here we are. We're in the deck saloon. We've got lots of light coming through here. We've got lots of light coming through the windows. We've got lots of fresh air coming through the, through the sliding companionway there too. And we would through the ceiling too if this was open, which you can do, and we've got really great visibility all the way around the boat. So fantastic for when we're having our cocktail parties or our lunch, nice civilised dinner in here, but also fantastic for when we're at sea, we've got really great visibility all the way around, superb for watchkeeping. And I always say that when everybody else is sitting in an another boat like that yacht there, or the yacht next door, while they're all fighting for space under the, um, under the spray hood when it's rainy, We'll be in here with a cup of tea and the heating on, really enjoying ourselves and laughing at them, even if they are a bit quicker. But uh, yeah, really, really lovely space. We've got U-shaped -sh U seating here, a table that extends, so you've got, while you're sitting down, you've got the view because you're higher up as well. Really nice nav, really nice size nav station here as well. Lots of woodwork has been done on this boat, so she's looking great. We've got wheel steering here, we've got uh, engine and bow thruster controls, um, we've got the compass, we've got all of the electronics and engine instrumentation we think we could need on this boat uh, and we've also got a steering position and bow thruster and engine control outside just behind this window frame here so you may be able to see the edge of the wheel but um, all feels really rather nice and not to mention the engine which is underneath me in an, an acoustic enclosure so it should bring those noise levels down as well really great but let's pick you up and I'll take you straight down. Loads of room to manoeuvre around this boat, handholds everywhere, really great in the seaway I think. I'll just place you there on the saloon table. So we're in the lower saloon here, again more U-shaped seating, another table, this makes into a double and we've got windows, we've got lots of light flooding through, seemingly plenty of room. I five foot nine, not quite touching, so probably about five foot ten there. The deck looks nice, really really easy to get down the companionway and of course we've got the galley on the starboard side. We've got a cool box here, we've got the double sink unit here and we've got the, the cooker here with three burners on top and when it's all closed off we've got a really really lovely sized work surface. We have cupboard, we have drawer, 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 drawer. We've got cupboard, 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 cupboard here, we've got fiddle shelf here. There is room everywhere on this boat to store stuff. We've got storage underneath the seats, we have cupboards here, massive great big cupboard there. We've got uh, lead lined glass uh, fronted cupboards, forward and aft there, a nice fiddle shelf there and a fiddle shelf on the forward bulkhead as well. Just storage for everything, you should never want for storage on this boat, really really lovely. Feels great, lots of wood, classic, well made, we like. Right then, let's pick you up again. I'm going to take you straight through to the head, so you can imagine what you might be doing in here, what kind of uh, what kind of space you need, but again we've got one window, I think we have the derayed vent up there, so that's where all the, uh, you know what's going to go. Um, a standard head compartment really, we've got a, a manual head here, we have a sink with some work surface, we've got a cupboard behind and a cupboard underneath and the same sort of standing headroom as the rest of the boat. Does what it says on the tin, there's room for one in here, you would only re need room for one in here I think, but um, yeah I think uh, perfectly adequate for this kind of boat. But let's pick you up again, I'll close the door on that and whip you through to the forward cabin and as you can see really lovely space. Two Decent length and width berths here, we have the, the facility for an infill too, we've got storage all the way around the edge of the compartment there, and you'll notice as you go around the boat you'll see all the, the hull is all wooden lined as well in that naughty cut way, so it just gives you that kind of quality, really really like it. We have lots of storage underneath, and we have lots of room to change if we need to, decent headroom here again as well, and also you've got the two windows and the opening hatch there as well, so light coming in, air can come in too. Feels like a, a good place to spend a weekend or a little bit longer, especially good for the kids if you want to uh, just shut them up at the other end of the boat. <laughs> but I didn't say that. Anyway, let's pick you up. We'll take you out of the forward cabin, past me, through the lower saloon, 
up through the feature deck saloon, which I love. I want to have my parties in here, and uh, straight down to the aft cabin, and I'll place you in the middle of the bed there. And as you can see, this is where I would want to be sleep sleeping on this bed. Lovely companion way down, good headroom as throughout the boat. You're on a lovely great big bed. It's one of the biggest beds I've seen on a boat. Nice and wide, nice and long, loads of lovely wood around it. We can see again the, the hull is wooden lined. We've got furniture at the stern here. We have access built in to uh, get to the steering really nice and easily as well. We've got a lovely, uh, we've got a cupboard behind the mirror even there and two decent sized covers behind there and that, just behind there is the very stern of the boat so we're right at the back at the moment. Um, the storage beneath the bed and if I just stand up we can see that we've got a, a little sofa unit here which uh, could be useful for sitting having a cup of tea and reading the newspaper or sitting there tugging on your fowlies or tugging off your fowlies in a seaway but uh, who knows. Um, the wood carries on all the way around the, the canoe stern to the starboard side we've got fiddle shelves it just feels great in here. I, I could spend months in this in this uh, cabin, no problem. And then just, just on the starboard side here, um, nice hanging locker, vented, which is very useful. Another little locker up here, nice fiddle shelf, and we've got access to the after heads there as well. So we have a nice ensuite for this particular cabin. So let's pick you up and we'll finish off this whistle stop tour of this amazing looking boat. There's loads more details. Um, if you go to Boatshed Brighton, you'll see tours, you'll see photos, etc., of this kind of boat. But um, yeah, just to give you an idea of what it's like to be on board this boat, and uh, if she might be the one for you, or if you just uh, if you just wanted to see what the inside of a really nice Nautic Art 33 looks like. Thanks for joining us. Always stay around for lots more videos, hints and tips, how to's, information, etc. We're all here for you. But uh, yeah, thanks again for watching, and we hope to see you soon. Take care.